money mindset faith video three so what is faith anyway I I bet your first thought is God or religion or faith in something like that right isn't that what we always think of when we think of faith well the irony is I wanted to make this video actually earlier today and I thought I finally got around to being able to videotape tonight and I'm on my way to church faith but we're not talking about God today we're talking about faith and how faith is I'm going to define it for you but it, it's in everything it's not just about God the general definition for faith is complete trust or confidence in someone or something complete trust or confidence in someone or something there was another definition right below that which is more of a religious definition a strong belief in God or in a doctrine of a religion based on spiritual apprehension rather than truth so basically when you talk about faith in God it's believing in something the unseen and think about it if we have faith in ourselves and confidence in ourselves for something that we're going to do in the future it's unseen and there's no proof so faith is has such a broader term and I know that today I'm going to talk about money mindset faith but anything I'm teaching you in any of these videos on on money mindset can be used in anything if you want to exercise and lose weight and uh, or if you want to or maybe you're trying to get uh, an education or something and, and you just um, didn't think you were smart enough. This will work with any goal that you set. Whatever the mind will believe, the body will achieve. So remember that it's in all areas, but we are talking about money mindset. You know, we're not born with faith. So where does it come from? How do we develop it? Um, I know a lot of times your spiritual faith, your parents are teaching you and they take you to church and, and you develop that faith. but if they didn't take you somewhere and teach you a doctrine of a, of a religion, you wouldn't acquire that faith as you were growing up unless you acquired it someplace else. So how does that happen? Easy. Repetition. It's hearing the same thing over and over and over again. Now, you do have to believe in it. There are people that have been to church and they don't believe and they leave. But to develop faith... You have to hear something over and over again. And that's with, with anything. Um, if you're going to learn anything, right, you convince yourself, you convince your mind, you have that confidence that you can do something and that builds the faith. And the faith, when you have that faith and you keep on saying, I can do this, I can do this, I believe, you will believe. And again, remember the, that quote that Napoleon Hill gave us with the mind believes the body will achieve, right? It doesn't know that you can't do something unless you tell it, tell it something very interesting. Um, I find in this whole money mindset thing is you can also think yourself into poverty. Um, if you keep saying, um, having a victim mentality and keep saying, I can't, um, improve my life. Um, we started out with a really bad home life and it's just going to be that way the rest of our life. Then it will be because you believe it. And I found that very interesting. Um, victimization is probably the worst thing anybody can do for themselves. Faith is a state of mind which may be induced or created by affirmation or repeated instructions to the subconscious mind through the principle of auto-suggestion. Now, I'm going to talk more about auto-suggestion in the next video, number four, but just remember those words. You keep repeating it. You keep on telling the mind, this is true, this is true, this is true. Napoleon Hill also has five statements that he recommends that you repeat over and over and over every morning, every night, along with the goals that we talked about in video one. I'm going to go ahead and put these up. You can see it in my handwriting. I'm not going to take a picture of it from the book and I'm not going to put it on a PDF for you to download because what I want you to do is take it from the video and I want you to write it down yourself. So you might have to stop it. I'm going to try to pause it, you know, on each statement so that you can go ahead and write it down. It might take you a few minutes. I apologize about that, but it's really vital that you write it down and not just copy it and, and say it. It has to be your statement. And what I recommend that you do after you say these statements is repeat the goals that you set in video one. You have to keep affirming it and putting it in your mind. Um, in auto suggestion, we're going to learn more steps, but right now, this is how far we've gotten, and I want you to do all of this before you go on. Make sure you go back to video one if you haven't seen it yet, because there is an action step in each of these. 
remember you need to stop the video to write these down. I know they're going by really fast, but I wanted you to see them um, and write them down. I promise you doing this two times a day, you're going to feel this, self, this confidence is going to start building. And when you add your goal, you're going to have that confidence that you will achieve what you've written down. Now, I had other things I was going to put on this video, but I think I'm going to stop here because you have some work to do. Um, get those written down before next week, and we will be adding auto-suggestion on video number four. You can find these statements in Napoleon Hill's book, Think and Grow Rich. I do have the link below. It's on page 17 in the book that I have, but you don't need to buy the book. You can just write down the ones I have here. I am at my destination. Make sure you look, read I am at my destination. Make sure you click that playlist and start from the beginning and do all the action steps from the beginning. We're just taking this one step at a time so that it's not overwhelming. You have a blessed day. I'll see you on the next video.